Okay. Okay. So this is the use of alpviram that we did in Hindi. That is equals to the comma in English. So whenever I have to use the alpviram, I will give a very short pause. But during the rest of the sentence, no need to give this short pause. Okay. Like I am repeating again. Ram, Sita, Gagan, Ramesh. Yeh sabhi mere dost hain. So when I spoke the last half of the sentence, yeh sabhi mere dost hain. I didn't give any pause. But when I was speaking the names, I did give a pause, short pause. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, next move to the second type of the viram chin. That is ardh viram. What is this called as in English? Man, it's a semicolon. Semicolon. Yes. Ardhviram, semicolon. First write down its definition, then I will explain you. Jaha Alpviram ki अपेक्षा कुछ अधिक देर तक रुकना पड़े वहां अर्ध विराम प्रयोग करते हैं राइट डाउन वन एग्जाम्पल सूर्योदय हो गया अर्धविराम चिड़िया चहकने लगी और कमल खिल गए So Ardhviram, that is the semicolon where we use it like in Alpviram, that was the comma. We have to give a very short pause. Okay. But if we are, we have to give uh, a little more than the short pause, a very um, little more than the short pause, then we use the Ardhviram. Okay. जहां अल्प विराम की अपेक्षा कुछ अधिक देर अधिक देर मीन अ लिटिल मोर टाइम यू हैव टू वेट रुकना पड़े यू हैव टू वेट देयर वी यूज द अर्ध विराम क्लियर सूर्योदय हो गया वॉट इज सूर्योदय यू नो वॉट इज सूर्योदय Sun, what? Sun, what? Sun, God. Sun, what? Sun, God. No, 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 no. It's not sun, God. Suryodaya means rising of the sun. Sun rises and sets in the evening. Rises in the morning. That is Suryodaya. When the sun rises. So now we are telling a situation that when the sun rises, chidiya means birds chehekne lagi start chirping. Okay. And kamal khil gai. Kamal is a flower, lotus, lotus flower. 
khil gaye means blooms up so whenever the sun rises the birds start chirping and lotus blooms up so in hindi suryodaya ho gaya there is a one situation now we are going to tell that what is happening in that situation that's why we put a little more pause than the comma okay suryodaya ho gaya chidiya chehkne lagi aur kamal khil gaye this is how you will speak uh speak up the sentence this example once okay ma'am suryodaya ho gaya chidiya chehkne lagi aur kamal um kamal khil gaye hmm so this much of pause we will put in the ardhviram clear yes ma'am next थर्ड वन वी आर गोइंग टू डू इज पूर्ण विराम एज द नेम इज सजेस्टिंग पूर्ण मीन्स कंप्लीट इंग्लिश मीनिंग ऑफ पूर्ण इज कंप्लीट मीन्स कंप्लीटली स्टॉप इन इंग्लिश वी कॉल इट फुल स्टॉप write down its definition first jab vakya khatm ho jata hai tab vakya ke ant mein purn viram का प्रयोग किया जाता है ओके एग्जाम्पल राम खाना खाता है मोहन स्कूल जाता है वॉट इज दिंदी ऑफ एग्जाम्पल राम 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 इज अ नेम खाना मीन्स सो वॉट डज देंटेंस मीन मीन्स दैट राम इज ईटिंग फूड हम्म मोहन स्कूल जाता है इफ आई वुड से दैट कन्वर्जन ऑफ हिंदी टू इंग्लिश इज फाइन दैट इज करेक्ट बट टू बी वेरी प्रिसाइज इफ आई गो बाय द वर्ब इट्स नॉट राम इज ईटिंग फूड और मोहन इज गोइंग टू स्कूल यू रिमेंबर आई टॉट यू दैट वेन द ता comes at the end in hindi then what tense is this ma'am um, it is present continuous tense no ma'am sorry no, simple no. present tense ha simple present tense so how does we make sentence in simple present tense if i have to convert the sentence in english ram khana khata hai um, ram eats food very good and second one mohan school jata hai mohan goes school so to be very precise this is the exact meaning of these sentences okay because the sentences are in simple present tense they are ending with ta ta te ti the sentences or the verb which end with the ta te ti that comes under the simple present tense right so here we are talking about the pun viram so we have already told an activity of ram and mohan and we are finished we are not going to tell anything further about them so that's why i put a pun vina okay okay ma'am even if yes. i have to write another sentence about the ram and i am going to tell about another activity of ram that i can but after the pun vira mohan 
okay why because i have finished one information about him and now i am going to tell the another information about him so we yes, are yes. separating the two different informations the two different sentences by a punvira yes. okay so punvira is also clear yes yes noted yes ma'am i noted okay now let's move to the fourth one that is ram ubiram yes that is means two dots in english we call it colon first write down its definition jahan kisi kathan ko अलग दिखाना है वहां पर उप विराम का प्रयोग किया जाता है your teacher is going to teach you this topic in class or not she has just given you to do by yourself ma'am she might i ma'am she might till now she has not taken na no ma'am so that would be a plus point for you now you would be knowing everything hai na in class yes ma'am राइट डाउन प्रदूषण एक अभिशाप विज्ञान वरदान या अभिशाप Done. One minute. Yes, ma'am. Now, first, write down the meaning of all the words, then I will explain you. जहाँ किसी कथन कथन means saying anything you want to talk about, any information that you want to give. ठीक है. अलग means अलग means ma'am. different huh? different different okay dikhana hai to show oh, yes ma'am theek hai so when you want to show a saying or a information differently then we put a upviram right okay. yes ma'am for example pradushan what is pradushan do you know what is pradushan pradushan is pollution pollution yes and abhishap means curse <laughs> and curse curse c u r s e curse okay vigyan ma'am in like the, it, it's not pollution not polluting the nahi nahi <laughs> vigyan is education or science वरदान इज ब्लेसिंग
blessing and abhishap is curse again so now as you can see from the examples first we have taken the topic pollution and then we are talking about its curse that whether it's a curse or not okay so this is what we are taking the topic differently and we are telling about the different thing or different aspects of a topic okay so we are separating the topic from its aspects yes sir right same with the science we want to talk about whether the science is a blessing or it's a curse so we have taken the subject science or not education and then we have separated it with its uh, one of the aspect that we are going to discuss clear so that means if you want to show one as the thing differently this is what the definition is telling you jahan kisi kathan ko alag dikhana hai when we you have to present any of the aspect of a situation differently then we call it then we use it upviram yes sir clear sure yes yes sir whatever we are doing today how whatever types we would cover today your homework would be to write down at least 3 3 examples of all the types okay before the yes. next class you will write the three three examples of all the types okay ma'am next now move to the next type that is vismaya adi bodhak vismaya adi bodhak ji in english we call it exclamatory exclamatory sign, sign. right इसका प्रयोग वाक्य में भावों को व्यक्त करने के लिए किया जाता है उदाहरण हाय अरे शाबाश लाइक दिस वाह कितना सुंदर चित्र है यस नोटेड ऑल दी एग्जाम्पल्स यस मैम so where we use the exclamatory sign when we have to present any bhav bhav means feeling bhav means feelings to represent any kind of feeling it could be any feeling it could be anger it could be happiness it could be surprise it could be sadness anything right so when we have to express such kind of feelings like can you tell me some examples in english Uh, when i will explain you in english you will definitely understand it like what kind of expressions i am talking about what kind of expressions like wow really great how okay so these all kind of expressions are what feelings right so same in so english hindi hi अरे शाबाश वाह कितना सुंदर चित्र है वाह वॉट अ ब्यूटिफुल पिक्चर इन इंग्लिश वी टॉक आउट लाइक दिस वाह वॉट अ ब्यूटिफुल पिक्चर सो इफ आई राइट डाउन द सेम सेंटेंस इन इंग्लिश वाह वॉट अ ब्यूटिफुल पिक्चर 
I will write it like this only. So in English also, I will put the exclamatory sign after wow. Even I can write the uh, put the exclamatory sign at the end of what a beautiful picture. But here in Hindi, we will put the exclamatory sign after wow. Wow, kitna sundar chitra hai. Right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Noted? Yes. Okay. Next. Next type is Prashna Chin. Prashna Chin means question mark. Very simple, I guess. Yes, ma'am. You can write definition. Jab Kisi Vakya Me Prashna Pucha Jata Hai. तब प्रश्न चिन का प्रयोग किया जाता Sure. 